What's up YouTube? This is DWS Darius and this is another episode of Amazing Fish and today's Amazing Fish is Geophagus altifrons. Okay everyone, so right now you're looking at my Mel Geophagus Altifrons and these are definitely some amazing, awesome fish to keep. Currently mine is living in my 210 gallon community aquarium. In this tank there are also barbs, rainbow fish, dania, and other small fish. And that's one of the reasons why I love the Geophagus so much is because these fish in general are just very mild fish. They're not as aggressive as some of your other American cichlids. Now if you know me, you know I've kept all different types of American cichlids. I've kept red devils, midas, Jaguars, just a whole variety of these different American cichlids and by far geophagus are some of the most mildest and that's why I love them because these guys can get so big they can reach this geophagus altifrons can reach close to 12 inches mine is about 8 inches but um, they can reach such a large size and they don't really carry the aggression that most American cichlids carry now they are aggressive somewhat but definitely not as much as some of the other ones and that's one of the reasons why I love them because they can go with just a nice variety of fish um, they will eat smaller fish, so you got to be careful that the fish isn't small enough to eat. But when it comes to aggression, they're not really fish that would just go and kill every other fish in a tank. And that's one of the reasons why I love them, because that is a common trait that you find with some American cichlids. Another reason why I love these Geophagus altifrons is because they're such beautiful fish. Now, Geophagus in general um, are fish that do a good job showing that bluish sheen across their body, especially the dominant fish. And this is my, this is the dominant fish of this tank, this Geophagus altifrons, because he's the biggest. And you can see how beautiful that blue sheen across his body is. The nice streaks of blue and red and just a very detailed, beautiful fish. Um, and just very awesome to watch. This fish is just so soothing because of his beauty and just awesome. So a little bit about the Geophagus altifron cichlid. These fish are, as I said before, American cichlids coming from South America. Now, usually these fish, along with all geophagus, prefer to be kept in a group of their own species. Now, the reason why I haven't done so is because these fish are a bit pricey. When I first bought this guy, he was $15, and that was a discount because now, everywhere I look, they all cost $30 as juveniles. So I'm, I'm waiting because it does cost a lot to provide a decent school, but these fish prefer school. All geophagus prefer to be kept in a decent group. That's how you get the best coloration. That's how you get the best behavior from these guys. However, if you don't want to keep, if you don't have the means to keep them in a large school, it's best to keep one solo with another community because if you keep maybe one or two, like I did originally, um, the more dominant will kill the other. So it's a pecking order. And you know, just we're all fish that develop that hierarchy you want to have a decent number because if there's not a decent number the top dog is just going to bully the rest to the point of their death so with these fish is either you keep a good colony of about five or more or just go one in a community as i said before these are very mild fish so you don't want to mix them with fish that are overly aggressive like your midas your oscars and stuff like that now i have seen them mix with oscars but i guess it all depends on if you do it right when you mix them with more aggressive fish, I recommend that you keep them in a higher number, the geophagus, that you keep them in a stronger group because then the more aggressive fish can mix out their aggression compared to just singling it out on one particular fish. As I said before, these fish will eat smaller fish, so keep that in mind. If you do keep them in communities, it's best to keep them with barbs or rainbow fish or fish that generally get bigger than two inches. Um, one of the things I love about these fish is just that natural, just geophagus behavior. I said this before in a different video, but geophagus are constantly plucking at the substrate, um, sifting for different food, and that's just highly beneficial in an aquarium because when you go to siphon of the, um, the substrate, there's really nothing to pick up because they do such a good job cleaning up that bottom of the aquarium. And altogether, the geophagus out the front is just an amazing fish to keep. Uh, mine is very gentle when it comes to just overall personality he does show his dominance over the other geophagus and other cichlids in the tank however there's nothing that cause too much of a headache and these fish are just awesome so youtube that has been a look at the geophagus altifrons if you have any questions comments or concerns about this fish make sure you drop them in the comment section below thank you all for watching subscribe because more is coming and that will be all